So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a very simple five gallon bucket, pond filter, aquaponic filter, whatever you wanna use it for. It's gonna be very simple. It's literally only gonna be one hole that you're gonna to have to drill out or make, depending on how you do it, but otherwise, extremely simple. I'll also go through all the parts and post all the parts that you need in the description. Amazon links to them so that you can get them yourself as well. So let's get to it. So here you can see I got everything laid out. We have the five gallon bucket. You can get these at Home Depot or online. Doesn't matter in terms of tools for drilling into that five gallon bucket. So basically we're gonna have to make one hole right here, which is to stick this uni seal. And to do that, you have two options. You can, or I guess a few options. You can either use a hole saw like this, which will be very simple. Or what I'm gonna do today is I'm just gonna drill holes around like so and then cut it out so that you can see that what else you need is a pump for the pond depending on what size pond you're going to use depends on what size pump as well also take into account as a gravity fed filter so if you put too strong of a pump on here this will overflow here hence um, that's why i'm using an inch and a half pipe so i have plenty of pipe for it to overflow you have hosing here to go from the pump to the bucket this is the wrong size but I'll make it work by heating up the uh, one side and fitting it around the fitting. In terms of the filtration, we have these sponges right here, some lava rock, and then this, which I'll use to shove in the hole of this. Ideally, if these filters didn't have a hole, it'd be good, but since it does, I'll just shove this, which is basically underlayment for the pond. I'll just shove it in there, which would act as good filtration. I all, what you also need is some inch and a half pipe. I don't have it on here yet because I didn't cut the size, but basically that's to go through the bucket and out over here. So literally it is extremely simple. Once you drill this hole, you're practically done. Well, I guess you gotta cut the PVC pipe for there, but it's super simple in terms of the filtration. That's just basically what you're using, the sponges, the lava rock, and that stuff right there. So here we can see the bucket. I have this already drawn out. What I'm using is the Unisil, which I showed earlier. This is an inch and a half. If you are gonna be using a hole saw, which is extremely easy, easy to do, all you gotta do is drill a hole with this this is two and a half inches for an inch and a half uni seal you can see i don't know if you can see but it says two and a half right there the reason i'm not using this one is a. Uh, it's kind of broken but the other method which i'm going to be doing which is just going to be drilling holes all around here and then cutting it out will also work so if you don't have a hole saw this method this method will work for you So we got the hole drilled there. It's not as pretty as if you would use the hole saw. So we will basically have to clean it up and kind of even it out with a knife and then file. So now we got that unisil in there. I'm gonna clean up a little, then I'll put the filtration sponges in here and cut the pipe. So it's pretty much, that's pretty much it, technically speaking. So here you can see a closer up of that unisil on there. Unfortunately, I didn't make my hole the best, so it might leak. So typically I would put silicone on there, but since I don't have silicone and I don't wanna wait, I'm just gonna use a hot glue gun. So definitely if you use a hole saw, which I put away, it will make it extremely easier and you don't really have to use that. Well, I'll try it without without putting glue on there. So this basically how the Unisil works is once I stick the half inch and a half pipe in here, it expands and squeezes against here and basically seals it off, which is what how that works. So we'll see. Otherwise, in terms of the filtration, we got the lava rock, some of that underlayment and the sponges. This is a box of circular sponges for a Laguna filter, but it will work for this. There's four in here. But anyways, by using this, it makes it extremely simple because it fits perfectly in here. And then you'll be pretty much set. Like so, otherwise, first we gotta do is get some lava rock and stick it at the bottom over here. Just 
should be enough. And then we just pretty much stick the sponges inside the bucket like so. Like the bottom one fits perfectly around since these buckets kind of taper slightly inwards. So when you see when it gets to the top, it looks like I'm like three. There's more space in between. So unfortunately, because of these buckets, how they are, they got this extra support here. I can't put the bulkhead higher up. So I'm only able to put three sponges in here unless I cut this, which I guess I could. I can cut it here, but we'll see. Otherwise, that's pretty much that. And then, so in the center of the hole, since it's got this hole there and I want to direct the water to the sponges in area, I'll stick this in here, which will also act as a filtration. It doesn't allow the most water to move through it, but it will capture stuff. Otherwise, the main purpose is just to pretty much clog that hole in the center there. Okay, so we got that there. So now I've got the piece of pipe cut. I have the uni seal and some hot water right now to make it a little easier to stick the pipe through so it's gonna be a little tough. And then basically I'll stick the uni seal back on there and then shove the pipe through there. So I got that pipe going through there and then I got this 90 right here and then since I have the four sponge I'll basically stick that like so and then the water will come through here and this sponge will be used as well. So now I'm just going to test to make sure it doesn't leak here since as I mentioned it wasn't the best cut I did so we'll see. So yeah as I expected it's leaking from the unisil so I'll have to seal that up which is unfortunate but is what it is otherwise that's pretty much how it's gonna work with a gravity fed filter it has to be higher than whatever you're putting it on so like if you're attaching this to a waterfall we have to be higher than the waterfall also take into account the flow of water can't be too fast in here otherwise the container itself will overflow the garden hose is about 500 gallons per hour so that's pretty good on this one doesn't look like that's gonna overflow with an inch and a half pipe so you'll be set with that but let me seal that up and then I'll hook it up to my uh, turtle tank. So I actually had some silicone line around so I applied that on both sides. So that should seal it up. And then in 24 hours I can put some water in there and then we'll be set. Here you can see I have it set up and running now. So it's not leaking in over here. I only had to put the silicone once which is good. I put it both on the outside and the inside, as you saw earlier in the video, I have this sponge on top and then the water is going over there. The only thing is I should get a stronger pump. The pump is not the strong or that strong. So there's not much flow going through there. So it doesn't really allow to circulate and catch as much I will, as I would like it to. But otherwise the filter is working well. So far there's no issues and everything, no leaks. So it's all good, pretty much that. I have it hooked up on this turtle tub right here, I basically brought my turtles in from my pond during the winter since it gets too cold. I don't want to lose them. But turtles are messy. But definitely should build a stronger pump on here. This one I just had lying around so I just hooked that up. So, I mean, it works for now. It circulates the water and does catch some gunk. But you can see the excess food or poop or whatever that is. Well, that sums up this video. I was just showing you how to build a simple filter for a pond or aquaponic system or whatever you can use it for. So you can see behind me, I have it on this turtle tank or a temporary tank for them. So it works well. It's very simple to build. I definitely recommend if you're going to do that hole to use the hole saw so you don't have to deal with putting the silicone in there because most of the bulk, uh, the uni seals that I've used, I didn't have to put silicone on it. But since I did it a different method, it caused that hole to be not as circular, which caused it to leak. Otherwise, that pretty much sums up this video. If you do have any questions or comments, remember to leave those below and I'll get to those when I can. Otherwise, I appreciate the support and thank you for watching.